Hi, I'm Joe, and today we're going to learn to write a simple number guessing game in Python. So the game works like this. First, the program thinks of a number between 1 and 100. The user gets to make a guess. The program tells the user if his guess is too high, too low, or right. And if it's right, the program will tell the user how many guesses it took him to get the right answer. Let's think through how we want to write the program. First, we're going to start by creating a random number between 1 and 100. So we're probably going to use a random number generator for that and assign that to a variable. Then we're going to have to get a guess. And we've got to look at that guess and decide, is the guess right? Is it too high? And if it is, then we'll print a message, hey, it's too high. If it's too low, we need to print a message, your guess is too low. And then each time the user makes a guess, we want to increment our guess counter because we need to keep track of how many guesses they're making. And then at the end of the program, we'll print the guess counter and end. So if it's right, we're going to go straight to printing the guess counter. If he's wrong, we're going to increment the guess counter and then get another guess. Now step two looks an awful lot like a loop, right? What kind of loop? Well, a for loop is only useful when you know exactly how many iterations you want to repeat. But in this case, we don't know. We don't know how many guesses the user is going to take to get the right answer. So we would probably want to use a while loop for this block of the code. That way we can continue getting a guess, examining the guess, incrementing the guess counter. And we can continue doing that as long as the, the guess is wrong. So it makes a lot of sense to use a while loop for this. So we'll start by creating a random number between 1 and 100. We'll use a while loop to get a guess, look at the guess, increment the counter. And then when the, the user guesses the right guess, we'll exit the while loop and print the guess counter. Now that we've planned out how we want our program to work, let's start writing code. So first let's put a comment that explains what this program is. Now the first thing we need to do is create a random number. So we'll call this secret number and we're going to assign secret number a random number from 1 to 100. Now the way the rand int function works is that it creates a random number between 1 and the second number non-inclusive. So the if we want to get, create a number up to 100 we need to put 101. And when we use the random number generator we have to add an import statement to the beginning of our program. So we'll import random. Now we'll initialize number of guesses to 1. And then we'll get our first guess. We'll call that just guess. So now we have a secret number. We've initialized number of guesses to 1. And we got the first guess from the user. Now we'll start our while loop. So what we want is for the while loop to exit when the guess is equal to the secret number. So we'll say while guess is not equal to secret number, do everything within the while loop over and over. But when those two are equal, the while loop will exit. So the first thing we'll do inside the while loop is compare guess to the secret number. And if guess is greater than the number, then we need to tell the user that the number is less than their guess. Otherwise, we'll tell the user that the number is greater than their guess. And then we want to increment the number of guesses by 1. Now we'll get the next guess. But the next line of code is going to be exactly the same as this one up here. So we can just copy and paste this. That pretty much wraps up our while loop. So what we did at the beginning of the while loop is we said if the guess is not equal to the number, do everything within the while loop. 
If it is equal to the number, the while loop will skip and we'll print out the message that they got the right answer. So inside the while loop, we know that the guess is either too high or too low. So if the guess is greater than the secret number, then it's too high. So we'll just tell them that the guess is too high. Otherwise, we're going to tell them that it's too low. And then we'll increment the number of guesses, and we'll get the next guess. That way, each time we start the while loop, we'll have just gotten a guess. So when we begin the while loop, we've just gotten our first guess. And then at the very end of the while loop, we'll get every subsequent guess after that. So all we need to do to wrap up now is print the final concluding congratulations, you got it right statement. So let's add that. So now we finished writing our program. Let's test it. Well, the program seems to work. We got it in six guesses. That concludes our video on the number guessing game. I'm Joe. Thank you for watching.